Hi, I'm Kathy Havens from Chatham Township, New Jersey. Welcome to my solo art show, representing four decades of my artwork. This is my very first painting that was finished 50 years ago while I was in school in a class. And I used a cover of Arizona Highways magazine to do this because I particularly love the Grand Canyon. This is my second oldest painting in the show, done in 1967 in Philadelphia at a free evening art school, which was absolutely wonderful. This painting was done in a plein air workshop three days in Colorado with the former uh, art instructor Vivian George. I actually did three paintings in three days, but this is the only one I'm showing in the show. First, I wanted to say that I hung my show in a non-chronological order on purpose. I wanted to put together sizes, shapes, colors that went together. This one is one of the large uh, oil still lifes that I did in class over the years. And you'll see several other ones that were done in class still lifes. This is a pastel of the Upper Montclair, New Jersey, Presby Iris Gardens. And this pastel is one of many that I did once a week with my art group, small women's art group, since 1987. In the summer of 2000, I went on a painting workshop, plein air painting workshop with Enrique Flores Galvez. We went to Provence, France, and this oil painting is was done on the grounds of the estate, which was very, very beautiful. This still life is one that I particularly love. I had to. I have to tell you that I started studying at the Summit Art Center, now called the Center for Visual Arts of New Jersey, uh, in 1981. And many of the paintings that I have done along here have been done at that art center. This one in particular is interesting because it was the setup that was in class, but I took an old painting of mine that I didn't like, I turned it upside down, I took a small brush with some blue paint and I sketched in the composition and then I just started painting on top of it. And so you get some really wonderful um, effects that are just serendipitous and you actually can see some of the underpainting that actually contributes to the composition and the look of the painting. They're called pedimenti. You can see some of the underpainting here, 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 that line up there, this line, and it just makes it more interesting. Um, actually, the Impressionists would put color upon color upon color and kind of sometimes get a little bit of the same effect. Many times I have painted from my photographs and I actually do not alter anything in the composition. I paint exactly what I took in the photograph. This happens to be Yarmouth, Maine, the inlet. It's in oil. I recently took a class in encaustics which is really fun. You take an encaustic board and you melt hot wax and the first layer is clear and you just brush it on and then you take it, a heat gun and you smooth it and you smooth it until it's great. Then you let it cool. Then you take pigmented hot wax and you brush it on. You drip it, whatever you want to do. Um, this one you can see, I used a black crayon on the top of 
my paintings. Uh, this one is like a Jackson Pollock. Our assignment was to use black, gray, and white. And as you can see at the end, I dripped the white on top. This one also has uh, the black crayon pencil on the top of it. This is another one of the still lives set up in class at the Art Center. And as you can see, I try to vary my style. I never know what I'm going to feel like painting, how I'm going to paint on a particular day. Uh, you can see here, the areas are much flatter and more solid, uh, a little more abstracted. And this is an oil also. These are three of my pastels that I have done for my own photographs. And as I said, I do them exactly the way I photograph them. The composition, in other words, is exactly the same. This was the Sunday market in Provence, France, when I went over to the painting workshop. That actually won a blue ribbon, and I'm very happy about that. This was extremely difficult to do. And people say you can't go over pastels, but I'm living proof you can. I went over and over the shapes, the colors, the angles, and it turned out okay. These two again are from my photographs. This is the Jersey Shore. This is Canal in Lambertville, New Jersey, which some people have said looks like a European village just wanted to add that this little squiggly reflection in the canal almost makes the entire composition work and the, the uh, pastel interesting. Without that, it would be just pretty ordinary and boring. This is another oil that I painted on site in Provence, France at this painting workshop. This is La Bastide Rose, where we stayed. It was uh, a mansion with a mill from about the 17th century, I think. And it was the home of Pierre Salinger and his third wife, Poppy. And they were wonderful hosts to us. And every morning, Pierre would go down to the local patisserie and bring us back pastries for our breakfast. And one night, he actually gave us a piano recital, and that was very special. I meant to say that these three were painted in oil, and each one is a different style, which I think is sort of interesting. <clears throat> when I joined the small group of women artists in 1987. I didn't have any idea what I was going to paint, so I took my easel, my paint box to their homes, and we all worked together and had lunch together. I just started painting their interiors. So there's some of my favorite paintings, and this is one again where if you can see there are other colors underneath, and I had flipped the painting um, to do this one. So it adds more interest in these flat areas. This one was done in class and it's very complicated, but I sort of like to make things difficult for myself. So I did the entire setup. <laughs> and I think, I think it has a lot of life and joy in it. Now we have a grouping of pastels. Four out of five were done for my photographs. This is Hidden River at Weston, Vermont. This is the Delaware River from Lambertville, New Jersey. The ripples in the water were the hardest part of this picture and I did them over and over and over, including the shadows in the um, river. This obviously is a still life setup 
uh, in my class. And this one is a monastery in Provence with a lavender farm that we went to. And this is another scene uh, in Vermont. These two oil paintings um, have an interesting point to them, which I do in a lot of my compositions. If you'll notice, I have things a like bird's eye view, and I think I got that from a lot of the modern artists, uh, actually including Degas. He would often do that, and he would cut off parts of people and other things. This one uh, has the same bird's eye view kind of angle. This is sort of a signature thing for me. <laughs> one of my compositional uh, specialties. I happen to love New Mexico, and I've been out there six or seven times. And one of the times was um, a photographic workshop, and the latest one was a plein air painting workshop. And at one of the points, I took this photograph, um, this is, a little scene in Santa Fe, that's a pastel. This one was from a vacation in Oregon. This is a lavender farm. And I just particularly love the, the hills in the back. And I just kept them simple on purpose. And I think they're very striking that way. This is the third oil that I was telling you about. Um, and I have this unusual technique or compositional aspect of my paintings, many of them the still lifes, where I really slant the table. And it's just, I don't know why I have this bird's eye view sometimes of a, of a still life composition. I took five classes one summer at the Art Center in printmaking. And this is one of the monoprints that I came out with and again, like the encaustics, this gave me a chance to express my abstract inner self. And I really love this. And actually, I found out years ago that my, my personal three primary colors are red, green, and blue. And when I have them together, they make me feel really happy. And it's very similar to this one in style. They're a little bit impressionistic, as you can see here and there. And again, the bird's eye, bird's eye angle of the table. And this painting, um, I particularly love because it was one of those where I took an old canvas I didn't like, flipped it upside down, took a brush with a little bit of paint, drew in the composition, and then painted over the underpainting. And I call this mystery in a teapot. So I got to this point in the painting and I didn't want to make the flowers very formed. So I just left it like that. And again, you see the pedimenti underneath my former painting under here, under here. And what really is interesting besides this area, this painting is I left this little blue corner. I don't know why, but I think it helps make the entire painting. This is one of my very few acrylic paintings. I thought I should try a new medium and I found that I didn't care for it. I love oils. Uh, but I did this one, I went on a trip to South Carolina and outside of Charleston, there's this beautiful plantation, Magnolia Plantation. So I obviously I did one of their gardens with a gazebo. This is one of my most difficult and most creative paintings that I ever did. It's in oil and it was done by two, overlaying two photographs I had taken of Times Square, New York, one time. Uh, 
This was for a special show in New York City. And I took three little panels, canvas panels, and I painted them for three months uh, with a tiny brush, which you can see I never use. And it came out um, better than I ever expected. And it was the very first time I had ever attempted painting a vehicle. And I was very pleased uh, that somehow I captured them. Another thing about this is I ended up with a black vertical line. So I'm looking at the three of them together and I'm saying, this isn't gonna work. So I got two strips of balsam wood painted in flat black um, and then had them framed around that. And I felt like that really finished the painting for me. In 1999, for the millennium, I went on a tour of Israel with a group. And I took many, many photographs, of course, and I did about five or six paintings uh, from that trip. And this is a very moving one. It's climbing up to the top of Masada. And one of the very few paintings where I use figures. As I said, I love New Mexico. Been there many, many times. So these are two more of my pieces from those trips. That is, those are the mission buildings in Abiquiu where Georgia O'Keeffe had one of her homes. This is the Arroyo when I went to uh, the plein air workshop. And this is Vermont where I have a home. And these still lifes, uh, I want to point out a characteristic of my painting. Not in every one, but I often like to leave white raw canvas. And I once was told by a, a teacher that you can't do that. You have to paint all the surfaces, even if it's white. And I sort of ignored her and I did my own thing. So here I decided that it was done. I just wanted the outlines um, and it just felt like it was done to me. This is one of my landscape oils done uh, plein air. And this is Freeling Heisen Arboretum in Morristown, New Jersey. This is one little oil painting that I did with this uh, group of women artists again and an interior in her house. And again, look at the angle I've got. This is a, a very old oil that I did, one of my favorites, called Afternoon Delight. And again, you'll see areas of canvas, white, that I left untouched. And there's something fresh about it that I like when I do that. Again, these are two pastels that I've done from photographs that I took in New Mexico. This is Pangos National Park, and this is a mission church outside of Santa Fe. I love to draw and paint buildings, and this is the house in Summit that I painted in 1994. This is a group of five oil pat, uh, painting that I did within the last three years. Um, again, you'll see elements of the white bare canvas in here, in here. And the funny thing is you don't even notice that it hasn't been painted, but there's something about it that I love. Also love painting glass. This is a little oil that I did uh, after we took a trip to Ireland and they're just countryside uh, cottages. Here we have another one of the still life setups that I've done very recently. That's oil. Then this is, uh, the two pastels here. This is just pastel setup. This is a pastel I did at a restaurant in Greenwich Village. 
Uh, I like the picture of it. Here's the interior and looking out to the exterior. I just like that whole view of it. This is a neighborhood in Summit, New Jersey. And a farm in Iowa where my family uh, lived. My mother grew up there. And this is a little bit in the style of Van Gogh. I tried to do something different here with the brush strokes and the colors. Thank you for coming to see my show, 58 Pieces, 40 Years of Work. I hope you enjoyed the show.